Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video, I am going to explain that how much you should at least score in TOEFL. So, I have already made a, a couple of videos on GRE and TOEFL and you can check the link in the upper right hand corner. I am going to link the TOEFL video which I made last time. Uh, also, consider subscribing if you want more updates on GRE and TOEFL. I have also made a mailing list of around like 450 people. So, if you want to be registered in that mailing list, so that you can get regular updates on these blogs and uh, on these videos you can register there all you have to do is just put your email address also do not worry that uh, if your email address is going to leak somewhere I put everything in BCC and nobody can see who is receiving these kind of mails so do not worry about that at all I have divided this video into three parts so that it will be easy for you to understand in the first part I am going to explain that how much TOEFL score you at least need so that you qualify or you are eligible for assistantships during your study uh, in your university. Second would be that how much minimum you should score so that you make the cutoff of the university. And the third would be uh, if you took your TOEFL and you didn't score that well but you still have a backup option, I'll tell you about that. I've also combined an Excel sheet with around 30 universities mentioning that TOEFL requirements, their IL requirement and the link of the website where I found it. I have taken TOEFL but I have not taken IELTS but while I was researching for this video I have read all the IELTS requirement as well. You can find all the IELTS requirement in that. I personally prefer TOEFL over IELTS because you don't have to sit in front of a person and talk to them. The first point is uh, if you want to be eligible for assistantships. Most of the universities have different cutoffs like one cutoff would be minimum requirement you need and one cutoff would be that minimum requirement you need to be eligible for assistantships. See in masters they do not give scholarships that much. The scholarships provided are in the form of assistantship. Even in like PhD the assistantship is the source of funding. You will have to work as a research assistant. You can work as a teaching assistant that means you will have to teach. In case of research assistant, you will have to work with the professor in their papers and stuff. For example, while I was applying to UIUC, I, it was clearly mentioned that 103 is the minimum requirement to be eligible for assistantships and uh, I made that cutoff easily. Usually they have 26 plus cutoff in listening and speaking. Also you might be wondering that if you have already taken GRE then why do we even need TOEFL? But the whole point of TOEFL is so that the universities can test your uh, speaking and listening abilities. Okay, moving on to the second point, the minimum cutoff. Most of the universities I have checked have a cutoff of around 80, like 79, 80, 80, 80, 80, 79. Usually some of the good universities have 100 and uh, some of the universities even have like a below of 70. So it like really varies from university to university. You can check out the link to download that excel file which I have made you can totally download it it's totally free but I would still recommend that please watch this video till end it is going to help you third point is what should you do if you have already taken TOEFL and you still want to be eligible for the assistantship a lot of universities have a different EL test like it's a local English language test you'll take it when you go to the university and it is a little different from TOEFL but uh, the details of that test will be mentioned on the university's website. Now do not take my word that all the universities have this test but a lot of them have. For example UIUC has this test. And guys if I am mentioning same university again and again it's just because I have applied to that university and I know so much more about that university so I can tell you by confidence that. Okay, so they had a minimum cutoff of 103 for the eligibility of assistantships and if you do not if you do not have that even if you have like a 102 score you will have to still take either TOEFL so that you can increase your score from 103 to above or you can take a local English language test after going to the university. It could be free, it could be paid but do not worry about it. I know TOEFL is a lot easier but uh, I would still recommend you should study if you are aiming for assistantships or like some kind of work in the university premises. I have already made a video on 
how to score high on TOEFL. You can watch that. I'll link it up in the upper right hand corner. You can also read my blog. Uh, I've written a couple of blogs on minute details which students are facing. A lot of students ask me questions on a daily basis. So I pick a question which I really like and which is very specific details which you might not find on other websites. And I try to write it down. See, I'm trying to help as much as I can before I go so that a lot of people benefit from this. I was very doubtful during my application process and my seniors helped me a lot. I'm just returning a favor. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. You can check my blog down below. I recently posted about how much money I have spent on my application process in this whole year and why that kind of money is not that much if you compare to how much return you'll get. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Consider subscribing again. I put in a lot of efforts in them and I hope you like it. Please comment down below if you have any kind of questions. I have posted my email address as well. So if you have any kind of doubts, feel free to contact me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.